Breaking news tops our 430 half hour. A Northwest suburban man in a Lake County court at this hour. He's facing the first of four trials where he's accused of conning his friends out of nearly a million dollars. CBS 2 investigator Dorothy Tucker was the first to publicly expose accused scammer Rick Dugo. She is live from our newsroom with the latest on this. Dorothy. Well, Rick Dugo is on trial for scams he is accused of committing in 2018, but our investigation revealed Dugo's accusers go back 20 years, and there are dozens of them. In a Lake County courtroom, prosecutors began their opening statement by describing Dugo as a thief hiding in plain sight who preyed on his friends and never delivered on promised investments. But one of Dugo's attorneys said his intentions were good and that a bad business deal is not a crime. What makes Dugo's story so compelling is that there are four people who will finally get their day in court, but there are so many more who feel they will never see justice. That's the story beyond the trial we're telling today. He was a nice guy. He was, you know, personable. We just kind of hit it off. Jeff so, Schultz he thought like he had a lot in common with Rick guy. Dugo. We'd have dinners together. Our kids would play together. So when his new best friend offered him a chance to triple his money, buying and selling electronics. I thought that it was a legitimate thing. This father of four invested $17,000. I was videotaping, don't worry about it. He even had Dougal sign a contract, promising a return on his money. No worries, <laughs> man, get my good side. Yeah. A smug Dougal <laughs> smiled for the camera. Just making sure. But when it came time to pay up, <laughs> Dugo disappeared. He's a liar, he's a con artist, he's self-centered, selfish. Their pool is right there, huh. the fenced pool. <laughs> It was the spring of 2017 when the flashy new neighbor moved into the close-knit community of St. Andrews in Vernon Hills. He talked a lot about um, car washes and he owned all these car washes. He had this ginormous speedboat that was like out in front of his house. I visited Dugo's old stomping grounds last December. Do you by any chance recognize this photo? Yeah, I remember. Michelle Brand was among the many to embrace the dashing Dugo, much to her regret. Yes, we were among several neighbors who invested in, you know, helped him out with some money and never saw it come back. Dugo not only stiffed his neighbors, he also swindled his landlord. How much did you lose to Rick Dugo? Like $35,000. For Ross, who raised Walla, lived in California and rented the Vernon Hills house through a realtor, so he never met Dugo. I received an application from Jeffrey Klein. Not Rick Dugo. In the application, he's writing that he has a very successful business. It was also the name Sir Ray's Walla heard on the phone and in voice messages. Hey, Faraz, it's Jeff. It is uh, 9 o'clock our time. Hey, Faraz, it's Jeff. 7.26 my time. I've told you uh, how I'm trying to work this out. Later, I found out that Jeffrey Klein uh, moved, uh, sorry, gave the keys to Rick Dugo. So Race Walla evicted Rick Dugo and his family in May of 2018. He left a box of his belongings. I guess he forgot to take them. And it's a bunch of like pictures uh, of his family and stuff. What does that seem to tell you about Rick Dugo? On, on the one hand, he internally within those four walls was like this family man, but on the outside, he's like this predator. Dugo's schemes stretched beyond the Chicago suburbs to the picturesque Lake of the Ozarks, home to Dugo's former friend, Britt Hansen. He said something about cell phones and you could buy these cell phones and sell them. You give me this money, I'll turn around, make you a little money. But he never made a penny. In fact, he lost $30,000. Back then I was 10. Oh, I work every day for a living. So I was a lot of money. Hanson, Bran, Cyrus Walla, Schultz are among those who never saw any of the money they invested with Dugo. He should be punished for what he's done to everybody. I think he should be in jail or imprisoned or whatever the courts deem necessary for him. Now, this first trial is expected to last a couple of days, but the second day isn't scheduled until December 30th. It's unknown whether the judge will make a decision at that time. The three other trials will follow, so it could take months to finish all four. Joe? Hurry. We know you'll keep us posted, Dorothy. Thanks. You can see Dorothy's original reporting on accused scammer Rick Dugo. Just log on to CBSChicago.com.